here. Just building, building Bob someone. Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder. Wait. If I'm not Bob Cedric. the b- <laughs> Builder, <laughs> I'm Cedric the Entertainer. <laughs> hey, oh, go. God damn. Oh, my. <laughs> From Elucha Studio in Johannesburg, South Africa, you are listening to What the Relationship with your co host Candice and Lungi. And our extra special guest, Jessica. Jessica. Ooh, that sounds very sexy, Jessica. <laughs> pillow talk, you're bringing pillow talk. So early. Yeah. Hey? Yeah, so early. So it's so early. early in the morning, guys. So early. But if you're looking for a podcast that incorporates pillow talk, that talks about everything nice, <laughs> everything spice, everything in Jolo, we hope we'll make a great pair. Today, we are talking about toxic exes toxicity like and we're not talking about that sour candy called toxic toxicity. toxic waste we're referring to our toxic exes Yo. and the impact they've left on us as grown adult women gosh this is lungi's topic i always have to just put which is i don't Lungi's know why she does was. that because, because <laughs> she came with that energy and i was like hey i don't know why she does that she's triggering us so early in the morning okay it's fine before yeah. we get so triggered early in the morning I mean, today there's no load shedding, but there's been... Hallelujah. And that's the quick question of the day. How has it been uh, affecting load, you? Load shedding. Load shedding. If ESCOM has one million haters, I, I am, am one of them. them. Yeah. If, if ESCOM no has 1,000 haters, I am one of them. It has zero. I'm just, dead. I'm dead. Like, oh my gosh. It's not even yeah. just like the productivity aspect it's yeah. also the mental health aspect where you feel like Dude. you can't get anything done Dude. and it's more expensive on load shedding because even if you don't have a ups you're buying data to hotspot yourself Bruh. but then if you run out of data now you're going to a cafe listen and I'm that's expensive and buying coffees for nothing bro in this hot ass heat uh, uh, i need all of us uh, as a country to uh, to, to, to to play prayer for rain by black motion <laughs> Together, yeah. as a collective, as priests, chartered accountants, scientists, presidents, whoever you are, we need to play we it together. Because to, it needs to end. I've I've gone to the point where in my heart I have anxiety by 8 p.m. Yeah. because that's usually when the electricity comes back, right? Yeah. It comes back at eight. Sometimes it doesn't come back. Yeah. Sometimes it's late, right? Yeah. So even if I have lights, there's just this feeling in my spirit of anxiety yeah. because oh. Oh right! This is yeah, usually yeah. when the electricity comes. Oh, the electric like That's what mental health ma'am. bullshit is that? Listen, I was. What is that? Yesterday, when they said load shedding suspended, I used my fan, charged my phones, turned on. I was turning no on everything. I like let me use all of the electricity. <laughs> like it's what too much electricity. Woo! What is that electricity. even? Because yeah, what is even that? What so is that? for yeah. me, like it's been very different because I yeah. work different hours. Okay, so I've actually. Nev- well, not never experienced. You don't shedding, but experience. I don't it. experience load shedding. I'm always at work. Okay, also, I deleted okay. that app. Escom uh, S- 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 is, is, is doing the Lord's work. Let me tell you. Look, I don't even have that app. I don't yeah. know what grid I'm on. <laughs> I'm always just depending on. Um, Does she live in South Africa, guys? Right? <laughs> You're not serious. You're not <laughs> serious. <laughs> You're not serious about your life. You. I don't know what grid we're on. So we've got our complex has a WhatsApp group. Mm. So everyone would like say, oh no, like you know, is, the minute I see stickers flying in, I see oh, there's loads. It's about to go down. <laughs> Where am I? At work. At work. Well, it's about to go down. When I oh, it's about to go down. Mm. And every time, like even weekends, because also I'm never home. Yeah. So. Why 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 what do you do that you never home? You're always at work. Hey Are man. Are you the president? What's going on? <laughs> She's a McGroovy. Hey. I'm. Uh, Certified groovers. No, I'm lying. Ooh. I, I'm lying. She's not lying. She's not lying. She's not lying. <laughs> I, I, no, I work like normal, no, not normal hours. Yeah. But like weekends is when I chill out, like okay. do stuff like this mm-hmm. and, you know, chill with friends yeah. and catch up with people. Mm. At like where? Saint. <laughs> and she won at the end last night. night. Why ah, would you? I go. <laughs> Certified groovers last night. <laughs> the minister of groove is here. Nah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. so yeah, I never, it, it never affected me. Yeah. I never get hacked. Like only if my phone is off, then mm. I'm like, shit. Like, what? What, what can what, I do? What can I do? Yeah. Otherwise, I'm just like, uh, whatever. Okay. If, if I get to the complex and it's dark, I'm like, oh, it must be. It must be the no, load. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I'll wake up and be like, oh, do I have electricity? I check the thing. I'm like, oh, I do have the unit. Yeah. Yeah. Then it means it's a load sitting. Yeah, okay. And the coffee part, the fact that I can't get coffee in the morning when Ooh. that happens is, that is a huge, yeah. 
that's a different yeah. life. Yeah. Listen, I just I just want to like <laughs> say directly to the ESCOM people. In particular, the CEOs, CFOs, CMOs, CF whatevers. Guys, when you know a job is not going according to plan, like just 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 say, okay, maybe we should go. Because like this, fuck you in. Like <laughs> what Lungi said, she basically. Said <laughs> fuck we you lose in. about five hundred billion rand a day to load shedding. Are you like is that wow. not clicking in your brain? No, 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 no. Respectfully, if we get that announcement again, send location. You guys are toxic. Send location. <laughs> yeah. Actually, this is a toxic relationship. Actually, again. because we don't consent to this. Actually. And then the gaslighting. Actually. We're reducing to stage ah, three. Ah, then, like, one minute before six. Ah, stage five. Yeah. Five to. Where, um, was, stage where four. was the negotiation? <laughs> where was. Hi, Yo, at Bible, least at man. least you got us riled up for this conversation, Nungi, because oh, wow. toxicity. We're speaking Tox- about toxicity. Mm-hmm. toxicity. Have you guys ever had a toxic ex? Yes. Oh, oh yes. She said that too quick. <laughs> yeah, very. <laughs> Did you not wait for the question? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Do you wanna? Do you wanna? Yeah. Do you wanna? Yeah. Do you wanna yeah. Answer. answer. No, answer. No, you Did, you, do you, do Did you not? <laughs> I feel like everyone needs to answer before we get into stories. I, I said yes. Yes. Not really, not no. really. Not really oh, is a wow. maybe. Is a so-so. You so don't know. You don't know. No, I don't. I don't think they were toxic. I just think mm-hmm. what we had was uh, not healthy. That's toxic. toxic. I don't think it was toxic. Let's go on. I'll. I will decide at the end of this conversation if it was toxic or not. Right. 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 Yeah. That's my sister. No, you are fast. No, you, you are, are quick. quick, guys. You are very so quick. The people, the listeners, know. <laughs> they know. No, no, quick. You they know. Quick the thing is, the weird thing about toxicity is you only realize it's toxic once you've left that environment, right? Oh, yes. When you're in it, you are dazed, confused, to bewildered. You're within it. You're going to stand by your man, ride mm. by your man, fight for your man, mm. even though. And the stigmatizing was not even stigmatizing. Oh. Anyway, even though. Even oh, though. That's even more toxic. You know that they're problematic. Yes. Like. Yes. One one toxic situation. Let me let me let me let me bring this up. Mm-hmm. Twenty fifteen. No no no. Twenty fourteen. I got my driver's license, mm-hmm. and then for a year I hadn't got like I hadn't gotten a car because like, okay. my parents and my family were like, no, let's decide which option is great for you. You want something that's fuel efficient, but you want something that's also cute. Something that you know. Mm-hmm. So we're just discussing options. So every time like we'd always go out, you'd always have to fetch me, or I'd have to like ask my um, brother-in-law to drop me off, things like that, right? Mm-hmm. So, but the most responsibility was on him to fetch me. Sure. I the, get the boyfriend. The, yeah, the ex boyfriend. Okay, yes. cool, 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 cool. For the purposes of this podcast, let's call him. What's that little ginger monster? That little. The troll? Yes, let's call him the ginger troll. Sharp. Wow. Cool. So, ginger troll. Sharp. Great. Ginger troll. Cool. <laughs> we're vibing. We're vibing. We're in a relationship. First toxic situation happens that should have been like a major red flag. I come to his house. There was a family dinner. And as I'm walking, because I had to Uber, as I'm walking into the house, I hear the mom literally tell this, his, her daughter, his sister, hide all of the valuables the black girlfriend's coming over. No! no! My name isn't Tokozani. No! You know, it's not, it's Candace. <laughs> It's the most American British of names. My dad wasn't playing that. My dad wasn't playing that nonsense. Like, yes, my full name is Candace Wanangwa Chirwa. Sharp. But it's Candace. It's not difficult. So we were eight months into the relationship. And so for you to say the black girlfriend, please. And mind you, Miss Thang, you know your 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 son has a thing for black women. So it's weird that now you wanna anyway. Whatever. So first wow. toxic situation. Wow, 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 I was wow, bewildered. Wow. I didn't That's say anything. I wow. brought it up to him. Then he said, "Don't make me choose between my mom and you." Hey. And I mean, ah. It's not even choosing. Hey. It's fine. Yeah. If you're not, it. I'm a go. Uh, I'm a go. It's not even about choosing. It's yeah. about what's right and what's wrong. Mm. And racism, my wigger, is wrong. Mm. Wow. Anyway. Fast forward to when wow, I got wow. my actual car, November 2015. Shout out, Momo, real one. Cool. It hadn't been even two weeks of like, re, like, sort of like reminding myself about what a clutch is because when I used to drive, I used to drive my sister's car, which is an automatic. Sure. So a clutch was and a new thing. And you had just gotten yes. your license. Yeah. So, so yeah. now I've been doing little driving lessons with my dad just to remind myself. 
Mm. One day, Ginger Troll <coughs> sends me a message to say, if you're not here in the next hour, I'm breaking up with you. Uh, let's break up now. So, well, right, guys, and it's not, it's not like... Let's break up It's not right like now. it's around the corner. For in the, it's Edenvale, like the forest. Eh! Like, uh, you can see the killing towers. Let's, let's break up at the end of driving. the <laughs> Linton. At the end Linton. of the text, let's break up. Linton, Cresta, Greenside, mm. Victory Park, Rosebank, Houghton. I'm driving, Okay. Like, I'm going over the N1 because I was terrified Edinburgh. of the highway. Yeah. See, the amount of times I stalled. You had just, you had uh, just. The amount of times I stalled. It's understandable. Yeah. Just to get whack rounds? Let's talk about it. Oh, also. <laughs> anyway, the moral of the story is red might be a nice color, but if it's waving right in your flag guys, and on guys. all fronts, it's showing that the person's toxic. Guys, red Man. doesn't mean love sometimes. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm? It does not. Red mean. is danger. Mm? That's where the That's danger, where the is. danger <laughs> is, actually. Mm? Yo, my. I can't even. There's so many red flags that were there. Yeah. I made an entire dress. Okay. So <laughs> I can't the flags? even. Yeah, with the flags, it was a dress. Oh my gosh. <laughs> with extra material. I to think make what. Look. You know. Mm. You a bag. Like, <laughs> 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 I, think, I think what. Because I can't, like, go. Th- and I'll, I'll keep try and remember you know sure. yeah <clears throat> but what stood out for me and you're right the only time you realize that this was a toxic relationship is it's when after. it's done yeah. and i'll say a relationship because a relationship doesn't mean you are jolling exactly it means you are, you are interacting, interacting, interacting yes. with each other with yes. each other yes but to this day it it messed up my is it yeah ment- mentally i'm like yeah like, mental health Mental health, you know, <laughs> like you can't, a simple thing, you can't receive, you, you're you not able to receive things. Yeah. Because this nigga, motherfucker, <laughs> bitch. Okay, she said. My girl's name, my girl's name, my girl's name. She ever <laughs> run out of words, adjectives. <laughs> Look, he's a person. She is. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but um, in the whole interaction, it was all about the person him mm. him him mm. and for me it comes easy because i'm a lover yeah you know, like you're a giver i'm a giver yeah. and it's it's easy for me I, I don't need you to give me anything back mm. but now right now i can't receive because all i was doing was giving it was just here right giving mm-hmm. and giving and giving and you give your all so much that you forget yourself you yes. forget who jessica is yes. like what jessica is about because right. you you're only focusing on is is this person okay are yes. they okay but who's checking up on you bitch who, who? Is, who's why why you? isn't yes. the person that you're with checking up checking on up on you, you. why yes. aren't they making sure that you're good why aren't mm. they giving you the things exactly. that you need facts now it's the process of healing you have to now go back and be like whoa who is Jessica now? Now mm. we must go through mm. the whole thing mm. of yo, I'm a self love. Yo, self love. I thought self love was a bore. Can but I tell you? Listen, uh-uh. self love saved me. No, yes, yes, hundred percent. In particular, Beyonce's Lemonade album oh, in, when it dropped because that's oh. when we broke up. Oh, yo, guys, and oh. then Solange's album dropped at the same. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a party. Day, yeah. Yeah. Self love is a thing. Self love is a yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So, do you remember any specific incidences that like made you be like, "Nah, this isn't for me." Yo, there's so many. <laughs> <laughs> that yo, ha, I, so I, many. I said ha. <laughs> <laughs> I said ha. I said ha. <laughs> <laughs> I so I actually remember the the. In I fact, did. the biggest, like the most, um, thing that like stood up for me was when uh we were arguing about fucking hell <laughs> <laughs> oh god what? you know what it's uh, a trigger uh, yeah. i know you can do is hey. laugh because it's like the audacity you know, of you putting me speak. through that stuff <laughs> we're arguing about so first first of all i had promised okay. to buy uh like something for this <laughs> <laughs> not the story ah. What do we call this person also? You, what do we call this you, person? Because you, you, you're hard you. If he has anything I that's like a call him dis- Nick. Let's call him Nick. Ah, that's boring. A ginger no. troll, Nick. Nick. Okay, let's Please. call him... Uh, uh, D- uh, what do I... What, what don't I like? It's just to eat. Mm. Oh, 
I don't know. Anyway, mm. but that person. So yeah. what had happened was. Nah. So what had happened was, I'm like, okay, cool. Cool. Nah, man, for sure. Sure. I'm like, cool, I'm finna buy you this. Also, let like your papa. Why okay. Why am I voicing it out to be like, oh, but because I get a, you in love, most. Yeah. Yeah. You want to, yeah, yeah. yeah, you wanna for do stuff for, for the bay. You wanna the, stand by your man. You, you know? You know? Uh-huh. Stand by yourself, girl. <laughs> Facts. Be conning. Then um, I'm like, okay, cool, this is what I'm finna get you. Like okay. a very expensive gift, and I'm not about to mention it because, nah. Yeah. My sister? It's, it's too. Is it sneakers? Hey, no, it's, it's not sneakers. It's it's, it's, it's not. It's, too, uh, it's gonna reveal. reveal. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, she says it. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. But it, it wasn't. It, but it was expensive. Yeah. Uh, Me, I had it in my head. I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so, so let's keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Moving simply. I'm like, okay, cool. This is what I'm gonna get you. Whatever. And I remember at my place. Yeah. Um. So the birthday passed, dang it, and I still haven't bought the things that I said I was gonna buy. Mm. Then I buy something for myself. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! This is making me so mad. Anyway, whew, I buy something for myself. I'm like, let me treat myself because why? It what? is because I wake up every it's morning. Strong, it's my money. Like woman. You know what I mean? Yeah. I buy myself something, and then it's a problem. How? How are you With affording your own money? To, first of all, excuse me, why are you in my pockets? Why? <laughs> <laughs> my pockets. <laughs> my pockets. trying to get in my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, why are you mad? I don't understand. So anyway, okay. now I start to feel bad about buying that thing for myself, mm. which is. Which is, you should never. You should yeah, never. Yeah, because now there's, there's, there's going to be an imposter syndrome. Exactly, yeah. yes. So now I feel bad for buying that thing for myself and the argument got so heated up that he left babes like oh, wow. op- listen and when he i think the red flags that time were just like here and they were coming to my face i'm like oh this is now it and we are going in hey mm. we are going in yeah but you said this you said you were gonna buy me this but i didn't the entitlement like though the, the yeah. yes 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 the entitlement yeah. you know I was like, actually, let me let me help you open that door. Mm. Let, let, mm. Me, let me let you, let let me you, walk, let out. you walk out. I opened the door, and that was the begin, beginning yes. of breaking mm. that. But you know, toxicity, you'll go back. Because, because why? <laughs> the streets are bad. Streets yeah. are bad. Yeah. yeah. No, forget the streets. Being yeah. Bad. yeah. Is also Take my time. I don't know. Stand up. Stand up. Y'all be weak in the knees. Stand up. Listen. <laughs> like, stand up, guys. Sometimes, like, I know sometimes it feels so good it, in the it's, moment. Yeah. Like, you feel, you feel like number one. You feel like the baddest bitch. You know. Oh you no. Feel like mm. you're 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 the best person in the world. And then when it's bad, it's bad. Yeah. I think the worst for me was just like the downplaying. Or the, the gaslighting? Not yeah. There was an yeah. element of gaslighting. Actually, mm. there was gaslighting, and you just like, cause I, when I think about it, yeah, Ginger <laughs> Troll just couldn't. He couldn't handle the ambition and the dreams I had for myself, mm. and I think he just really just wanted me to be like no. in the house. You know, we're gonna get married, and you do you do the most. Get your degrees. But get a get degree a, oh, a. like in fact you didn't no, want me to get an honors get and i was like no baby i'm going all the way to doctor you're going no, to be referring no, me to no, doctor no, there's no, no way yes. and he couldn't stand that and he was like so after this don't you want to just like don't you just want us to get married i'm like no i still want to work i still want to do my honors i still want to do my masters i want to work at the time i was like i want to work yes. at the united nations i just is what i see for myself and he just was like silent yeah for him for you me to be a Makote. <laughs> so for him, what was he going to be doing while... He was going to work and provide for us, I guess. But like... As well, like uh, what did his career... Nope. Thing it wasn't like going to handle... It wasn't going it was to handle all this. Do you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. Did, did, yeah. His, did his trajectory... Nope. What? Where, 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 there was no vision. Wait, wait. Because also, like, 
there was no like well, there was no conversation about like what he wants mm. for his self outside of like you wanting me what, what do, you do you want, want for yourself you? yes, and now you're pinning yes. now you're trying to pin like your whole life around me which is fine but it's also not mm. the greatest because now if i don't do the same then you will withhold any form of love so yes. it's very like yes. yeah. if you don't do what he yes. Do, yes it was just uh it was a lot and i think at some point mm-hmm. my friends could even see that like my confidence was shrinking and minimizing. Like, I wouldn't stand up for myself. I wasn't as confident. Like, mm. I remained... The one thing that always triggered me was when I was at, like, a, the first dinner with his friends. And yeah. um, Are they one all? of... Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Are they all yes. what? Yes. Yes. <laughs> and um, I remember his best friend was just saying, like, he said to me, wow, you're such a loud person ah, yeah. and i was like not no i'm just not i'm not even at that time i'm not even screaming or shouting i'm just a bubbly charismatic yes. person yes but now I'm you're sure, you're, you're sure troping you're me to be this just, babes yeah. but it's because i kept interjecting into myself in conversations that mm. these guys weren't necessarily like aware of like you're having conversations mm. about the politics of the country but you're not even like accurately aware acutely aware of like your privilege mm. like let's yes. let's chat about that but yes. now because i'm speaking i'm loud so now you're gonna have me be labeled as that loud black Black, angry woman and i was just like let's not do that and ever since that then he always told me like after the dinner he was like yeah babe i think you must listen to what my best friend said like maybe you need to you know what i'm saying so now now i'm minimizing myself to make my man's happy but that's at the same point i'm there's an erasure (laughs) happening right Mm -hmm. so for me (laughs) i think it clicked there was a time when i i think there was a time when i slept over you know when you just wake up and your spirit's just like you don't feel content you don't feel like mm, at home yeah, yeah. and i looked at him and i was just like i, I don't think yeah. okay yeah, yeah it's the worst thing you can say to someone but i just looked yeah, at him i just looked at him and i was like i don't i don't know this is not my forever yeah. person mm. you know like with my kind person now like there'll be moments where i'll look at him because his snoring wakes me up and i know you'll be listening to this podcast snoring wakes me up but i'll like i'll wake <laughs> up and i'll look at him and i'll be like damn that's my that's my man i love you that. know like and you I feel you that. feel home and safe with yes. that one yes Ooh. oh shame man so there's an element of just erasure of trying mm. to uh, like remove my, myself as a person as an identity mm. then you know like he would he would remove any form of love because i wasn't giving him what he wanted or i wasn't doing the things mm. he wanted um and and then let's just also say like the family just didn't like me like oh, yeah. so uh, yeah, yeah, it was just on That's all ends like yeah. when we got back together when we broke up initially mm. the first time when we got back I together we will go back <laughs> we will go back but remember what, what you say? said go what back go back until you are sure that you are now yes. that you are full Ooh, and I wanted shame. to make sure you know mm-hmm. I wanted to make sure like is this really it so I'm just about to get into my honors year I feel a bit bit more confident mm. I go back. And he was fine with us getting back together. But there was a time when I came to his place and his mom had found out that I was at his place and she literally called him and she was all the way in Durban. And she's like, what the f*** are you doing? Why are you back with her? Not her. I hate her. And we're literally listening to this call and he was, this was the first time I saw him crying. Crying. Wow. Crying. Is it because you're black or is it because you're I just don't know maybe it's because of the things he had told the mom about me when we had our fights because he was a mama's boy so he would tell her every single thing that happened no matter the conversation no matter things Mm -hmm. like like so it was just like i was dating him and his mom yeah that's also another toxic thing yeah so it took some time to even like get the mom to like me like it was just really difficult. It was an uphill battle with him. It was an uphill battle with her. But then now it was also I was trying to fight with myself and trying to like remove the guilt and the imposter syndrome and yes. just also like the the hatred that his friends projected onto me. Yeah. The way we broke up was so te- well. It wasn't terrible, but it was terrible because I basically told him that he has the emotional depth of a spoon, yeah. and mm. and mm. he just yeah. blocked mm. me immediately. And I was like, Shop, this is maybe your way of you taking some time out to only find out on Twitter. <clears throat> that his friend started a twitter war with me to say uh you know screw you candace like you did my man's dirty why are you saying that he has an emotional depth of the spoon you're not great you should consider yourself single 
And at the time, I'm like, I you're bet. now getting your friends involved? Ew. What a bitch. So I was like, if you're going to get real friends yeah. involved, fine. Fine. Let's, I was like, Call friends. Them One, bitches. two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight. Let's go. Like, we had a Twitter war. Hi, boo. Because he didn't have the decency of saying, you know what? I get that you're angry. Yeah. I don't appreciate you calling me. I don't appreciate you calling me this. And I don't think we're good for each other. He literally brought the worst out of me because I'm not the type of person to call someone insults like that. But I literally yeah. called you an emotional depth of a spoon. And I'm so sorry for saying that. But like, introspect. Oh, yeah, introspect. No. <laughs> introspect. <laughs> Yo. Hi, hi, hi. Introspect. Mm-mm. So, so I, and now I'm remembering a lot. Like, no, go ahead. I'm, I'm triggered. But anyway, there was, I mean, I even, there was an, a, a time I would cry mm-hmm. because he's not talking to me. He's not giving me yes. attention. Yes, you see that with troll. I was crying. Why, why do they do that? Why do they do that? That emotional Man. damage of guys, he's killed. Quiet. We are fighting, but I'm the yo. one crying. I'm, I'm begging, 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 I'm, begging listen, you. I'm begging him, like, please speak to me. What did I do to you? I mm. was, now it's. I'm fighting to, mm. yes, and it was fighting for my attention mm. to a point of crying. Mm. Like, what is, what, this is what I don't understand mm-hmm. about toxic relationships. Like, you said you love me, you said you want to be with me. Yes. Yeah. What's happening? What are you doing now? Why are you doing the opposite of the, that? Yes. What's happening? Like, at, like, it, there's like a switch in my head. You said yeah. you love me, yeah. you said you want to be with me. Yes. Yeah. Why aren't you doing the things? What's going because on? there's an like, element of this? entitlement. I think what they, happens with toxic toxic relationships is that this. they have an, an a really messed up version of what love is, yes. and often it's understood from a transactional point of view. Yeah. So you owe me something when I do something good for yes. you, right? Yes. And that is toxic because if I choose to steer off or veer off mm. from that direction, now it's a problem because now you're gonna be like, okay, because you did this, I'm withholding, and it never should be that thing. Like no. it's you should never withhold even when you're mad with each other right like you had an argument you can still show love in the things of baby did you eat today yes are you fine did you get home like these moments when Uh, did you get home (laughs) i never got that that. no 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 no. i never got that man (laughs) like what i've learned with my kind person Uh, is that when we are mad we can have difficult conversations. We can even yes. maybe like have ma- like not even screaming matches, but like it can get a bit heated, yes. right? But we still still show love for each other. We don't say because of what 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 was what was said, what you did this. Yeah, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm not gonna yes, hide you. Hide you. you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, no. we'll deal with that later. We're gonna address it. But I still love you. And when the toxic relationship, what happens is that because you decided to wear those shorts, and I told you not to wear those shorts. Uh, <laughs> nah. You told me not to wear <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Like, when I say complete erasure of identity, like, mm. got to a point of <laughs> things you can't even wear, you know? Yo, you cannot wear. You cannot um, wear. No. Um, Actually, like, also, because now I'm not dating, right? Um, let me say yet, because I would love to date. Yeah, yes. date right now. Please. <laughs> I'm not dating right now, but I feel like after the, that relationship, mm. and I've dated after. Have I dated after? Yo, I can't even. I did. I did. Yes, thank you. I dated <laughs> after, but also. Because <laughs> you're dating life, like, yeah. yeah. Can confirm. I still feel like I don't know how it is to be loved by a man, mm. and not to like go off topic, but now you go Mm-mm. back to. Um, no daddy like yeah you go back to the daddy issue thing. yeah well I had a father he was present mm. he, he passed away mm. now it's like oh, the very first guy that loved me loved is gone properly, properly. Mm. properly. Mm. and I allowed some motherfucker yeah that bitch <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker ass oh bitch shit. ass Back nigga there. what was I saying again <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, um, I think you're talking about. I actually can't even remember. Oh, the daddy thing. Oh, that yes, I'll daddy. Never, never yes. know about love. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Like uh, to this point, I still don't know what it feels like to be loved by a man. And also, like I do, I wouldn't even. I would push it off because I'm like, what is this? Which one is this? Yeah, because yeah. I am mentally now supposed to only be used to 
motherfuckers. Mm, and right. You're yes, conditioned to motherfuckers. My, I'm conditioned to motherfuckers. And now it's even unfair because every other guy that I see on the streets, I'm just like, oh, another motherfucker, but they are. Yeah. Um, they usually they are. They usually are. <laughs> guys. That's the thing. And so building, we're talking now just about building and yeah. literally it was like I was here. Just building. Building Bob somewhere. the builder. Bob the builder. Me. If I'm not Bob it. the b- <laughs> builder, <laughs> I'm Cedric the Entertainer. Ah, there you oh, go. God damn. Oh, my. Ah, Actually, I, that, that one is, my that problems. One is what is the cartoon network? <laughs> my problems are that, me. That one is hilarious. That's yeah. Cedric the Entertainer. I, I really... Cedric. People, people, I think what the problem is, yeah. is that people love... The, the, personality the personality and not the right, person. Right, they right, love the funny right. jazz. Oh my God. What? But the love part. And that's, mm. I think, also with this, the interaction, the, the person I had an interaction with, mm. also enjoyed that personality. She's a fun girl. Yes. Mm. And she's loving too. You right, know? right. And a cool now, girl. A cool girl. And now you're going to take advantage of it. And then now nah, I'm out here left alone. Like, who's going to love me? Exactly. Yeah. Who, yeah. Who's. So it's it's a struggle. There was no reciprocity at all, and it's still a struggle to this day. Mm. Like I'm still, I think it's been two years. Uh, still recovering the, and, and still, still recovering. unlearning and relearning unlearning, unlearning girl, relearning. Girl. It's, it's a lot of um, you know things that I need to like let go of and mm. sometimes you, you I chill and like by myself and I'm like oh my god I can't believe I went through that like mm. why would I put myself through that like yeah. I think if I told my mom this like <laughs> she'd be like babes why? what the fuck why yeah. would you want to <laughs> why I, would you know, yeah. want to why you mentioned earlier about mm-hmm. your dad and him being the first man yes. who uh, who loved you mm. and he loved you properly and, mm. and listen I I'm with you same yes, yes. same mm. yes. I'm I'm on the same boat same yes. first man properly everything he said like he'd take me on dates on yes. purpose yeah to be like yeah that, this is how a man big. should treat you this yeah is, this is what the fuck they're supposed to do like yeah you're not supposed to be fucking cooking and cleaning yes. he didn't say fucking but like <laughs> yeah he said he literally we had these conversations yes. and now mm-hmm. watching my brothers love their Ooh. their wives that's also like a a, a meza it's a like it, it mm. it's it it's wild because i see that it's possible. it's possible right it's a real thing that's it is. possible 100%. so i'm not asking for too much what i'm yeah. asking for is enough it's adequate Ooh, for me it's not yes what i'm asking for is not too yes. much Ooh, like i've yes. seen it it's possible it happens Ooh. they're able to do these yeah, things exactly. no i was even scared they to don't ask want to wow i was scared to ask for anything like Nah, I'm not gonna ask because I know that the answer that I'm gonna get, mm. it's gonna be ah. But you know, I, I, like what? I I'll, I still need to wait for payday. Hey, yeah, hey, excuses on top of excuses. Oksala, I, I still. I, I don't know. Oh, no, can I, I just? Yes. Can I just? Yeah, man. Because I know somebody's gonna come for you for that. Nicely, they're gonna come for you. Nicely. We're not saying nicely. Don't work payday whatever. No. We're not entitled no. to your money. No. We are saying the way you say things is important. Is important. Mm. It can't be just always mm. swiping. Me, me, me. She uh, can't always uh, be the swi- uh, swiping. Yeah. Do, do I know no. flowers, guys, from that ah. relationship? Yo! I don't. Do I know, like, baby, I'm taking you out tonight ah. for dinner. For dinner. Not nothing. Ah, not yeah. nothing. Yeah. But what is oh, the green? Green? Right now, I buy myself, myself flowers. Taking yeah. myself out for dinner. Taking myself out for Listen. dinner. Right? Listen. Like, in the morning, because I work like a later shift. Mm. In the morning, breakfast. Nicely go out. Yes! Salvation Max. Cafe. Let me tell you yes. something about 44 Stanley yes. Salvation Cafe. Yes. And their uh, eggs benedict and their uh, um, uh, uh, waffle pancake situation flapjacks. Ooh, ooh the royal ooh, duo. Ooh, Real ooh, ones, no. And if you don't know, now, now you, you know. know. Nigga. Oh, thank you. I think wow. for me what is interesting is that I actually had to go to therapy. Like, I had ooh, to. Listen, I, had I need to, you to hook me up, I please. had to unlearn yes, a lot of yes, the toxicity yes, that this yes, person had left on me yes. as a way to just 
heal from it. Like yes. I just had to shed off that old yes. skin to like embrace. But mm. I think what my therapist told me was like, give yourself the permission to for like firstly forgive yourself. Yeah, like because right that now shit. It, it was often just me. Like I can't believe I let myself do this. I can't believe yes. I let him do this. And she's like, the first thing like you need to recognize is that yeah. you did nothing wrong, yeah. right? Yeah. What you need to do is just allow yourself the permission to forgive yourself. Yeah. Once you've gotten to that point, forgive him, and then once you've done that, yeah. you can heal. And I think I got to a point where, like, the breakup was so, I don't know, it felt like I was going through a process of, like, mourning. Mm. I went through the all seven stages of grief, mm. and the crying was so uncontrollable, mm. I couldn't understand it. But what my, like, literally what my therapist was explaining it, she's like, you're not mourning him, you're mourning the relationship it could have been. You're, oh. the, you're mourning the idea that, what, the, you're mourning yes. the idea more That's than you're mourning what him. what one of my friends said to like, me. Yes, it wasn't, yes, yes. It wasn't, like, yes, I woke yes. up with a heavy heart every morning. If, oh. But I think going through therapy, there was a day when I woke up where it just didn't hurt anymore. Yo. Like, I was just like, yeah. okay, I think I'm finally free. Yeah. And the reason why is because I was able to forgive him, mm. forgive the situation, yes. and forgive myself. Yes. That when I looked at things that he got me as gifts, I was like, I'm not phased by this anymore. Yeah. I still even yeah. have, like, this necklace that he made for me. It's like, he was, he's a oh, child. You're metal artist. It's very nice. Okay. He's a metal artisan. So he made wow. me this thing with my name on it. So I burnt all the other stuff. Like, I, don't <laughs> get me wrong. Like, other stuff, I was like, no, screw this. Bad but bad that bad necklace, bad. I still kept because for me, it's a reminder of the past Candace to a reminder for current Candace not to be what I was. Wow. Really, you know? Ooh. And and just as a, as a constant reminder to never settle for things. Because I think in that Oof. relationship, Listen I settled. Listen Settling. You I know, settled. I'm actually getting very so emotional. go to therapy. Oh. I was also getting emotional thinking Please about all of those I'm sessions cry right now because men wow. really leave a mark on us, and it can yeah. really like either give us the greatest trajectories, like it can give us yes. the greatest bounce back, yes. or it can really, really affect us. Really and affect, yeah. if you've left a toxic relationship, I would highly recommend, like even if it's like speaking to someone for two, three sessions, mm. just so that you get a sense of like letting that shit go. Yeah. Because that's the most important thing. Because it really leaves a mark on your identity. It's and it, you hold on grudges and often you can yeah. bring those grudges into your next yeah. relationship. Mm. And that's not unf that's not fair for the next person that you're with because no. they're not the person you're with. Hey. So, yeah. I actually need to... Uh, I need therapy. Yeah. 100% actually. I do. Yeah, need that's therapy. a... Yeah. Because like the... Also my friends. Ooh. ooh like... Ooh, Lungi. My gosh. All my friends have been the people like that mm. why am i getting emotional because it's, it's okay. an emotional I thing it's not just it. this like, is this I'm is actually this is actually our lives like yeah, in yeah. as much as people think podcasts are for content uh, entertainment value nah, 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 we nah, are nah, speaking from personal experiences and so true. we have gone through very difficult and heavy stuff yeah and you're just reflecting from the fact that like people carried you through it and <sighs> you are who you are today because, because of, those people. of those people mm. look man no shout cry out, through it if you need to cry peaks. Shout out. Carry on with your thoughts. You want to hear the whole <laughs> anyway, thing. Anyway, my thought yeah. is that, yes, with my friends being there and and even when I didn't have to say anything, mm, they could just, they could just be... I, mm. I don't know. And it, I think something triggered in them. Like, uh, again, mm. uh, they warned me, hey? Mm. They were like, babes, it's what I... Yeah. <laughs> and what I won't happened? mention Get any off. names. <laughs> yeah, but my girl was mad. Yeah. So anyway, what what makes me emotional like this is the fact that I went to like I, I was praying for this thing mm. to break apart I'm like God yo when yeah. you pray to God when for God pray to, to let God you, I'm like God God, to say, God please, please I remove from I remove it. Holy Spirit remove yes it. and I prayed and prayed and God is like well if you want out just be Audi. Mm. But your girl will still have the numbers your girl Ooh, will still respond nothing. to the texts that are like Hi, how are you? I still care about you. Bitch. No, you don't. Go care. You really don't. You just miss <laughs> that personality again. Yeah. You know, back to that person that fed you. Yeah. Fed your ego. And yeah. men like and the way we make them feel. Yes. Yes. They love it. They love it, you know? So Mostly, because it's about them and it's... So yes. they like the way they, we make them feel. They love feel. it. So it was me praying, getting down on my knees, and I'm, I'm crying also. But also in this relationship, there was a point in my life where I was even afraid to like walk in the presence of god you mm. they were because i felt so guilty i felt mm. so Damn. little i felt so dirty i mm. was just like 
but just why are you allowing this? That? And also, I know God loves me so much. Mm. Like, mm. why? And I'm just like, God, you love me so much, but can you just give me better, though? Yeah, you know? like, like, listen here. <laughs> <laughs> Look it. No, 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 no. Listen here, man. There's been so many times I'm like, Oh, Lena, God, what the I fuck is going on? I, 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 Lena, Lena. To, uh, why are you giving uh, me this, these this bullshit men? Uh, What's going on? Where uh, are the men that you know I deserve? Uh, where are they at? The men I know I deserve. Where they at? Open where? my spiritual eyes, God. <laughs> Let me see these things. Where are they at? I want to see them. But also, oh. if we think about the journey that God's son went through yes. in the Bible, each Ooh. person that Jesus interacted with was Why a must it be me? <laughs> To be God's child, God. I don't want to be a People in your life, to I know. don't want to be a textbook. Listen, no. Listen, <laughs> listen. No, listen. I don't want these lessons. No. When I when I had that perspective of like God, why did you send Ginger yeah. Troll? What was the reason? Yeah. I think they were the fear. What was the reason? What was the reason? Yeah, why? Because now I can't be loved. Now and I'm like, no, you still can be loved. It's an element of understanding, setting those boundaries, and recognizing okay. what it is that you deserve. And 100%. if I didn't go to therapy. I would still have that mindset of I, I don't deserve love. Yeah, I'm never gonna get true, it. And it was really true. just an element of saying, forget about him. Yeah. Forget about this. What about you? Mm. What about the girl child? What about what you ooh, want? Ooh, How about ooh. we change that narrative? How about yeah. we change it on that perspective yeah. to say you already know what you ideally want for when you look at for look for love, right? And you already realize with this person that is not what you want. Nope. So when you're going further, you're going to know that if this person says this, if this person's inside of this, 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 this I'm we're leaving. Yeah. Not no, even no, a second no. guess, not even a second try. We're out. So I think it's something that I was like, you know what? I get now why I had to experience a person like that considering the type of person that I am. Mm. I'm a very nice, bubbly person. I give people so many chances. Mm. But mm. Look, God was literally mm. like, date this person for a year and a half. I and said interaction. That's a lot of time. I said no, interaction, not dating. This is the type of person you don't want to yeah. be for your forever person. This is the type of person you don't want to raise a yeah. household with, raise kids with. Yes. And it's not an it's not an attack on him, no, right? No, 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 no. Because no. he 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 is happy. He's happily married, from what I see. Mm. Wow. And I'm wow. I don't know. Like like maybe he's good for someone else. Sometimes. You could put true, the true, best true. people together, oh, yeah, yeah. and they bring out the worst. And yes. I think with me and him, we individually are great but together we're the worst yeah mm. and for him and his baby baby mama wifey, wifey they're, they're probably they, great they probably, right and but that's what must good. i be the lesson i'm just there. that's the thing i'm just there because it's it, it it becomes like it's so unfair like mm. why why yes. can't i just have it good for once i hear you it's always like oh ah, another mother another, another yeah. one but another also let's the, the south african streets <laughs> Ooh, yeah yeah i need to get to our story we like this is, our story. this has been a very good in-depth conversation it was it was cool and we've had a lot to share Mm, and now we still have a story to go through okay Mm. so story reads as following how can i female who's 28 go over my toxic ex who's male 31 with whom i had the best sex of my life with that's where the danger is problem number one (laughs) go ahead (laughs) go ahead (laughs) my sister alex lewis hamilton (laughs) Please, please. Okay. Um. So, what are we saying? Are we? Are we? We have no shame for her. Like, she must move on. Yeah. No. Let's no, let's I'm hear saying. her out. Let's, let's hear her out. out. I, 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 all I'm just saying is, if this man, like, if this man is Lewis Hamilton, then please <laughs> don't get over him because it's Lewis Hamilton. I mean, hello. Anyway, mm-hmm. let me get over. Let me get over. Okay. Cool. So I broke up with my significant other, even though I don't really want to. I'm still deeply in love with him and can't imagine a life without him. The sex was amazing. I never felt so connected with a person before. But he's ridiculously jealous without any reason. Any other man, he was a threat to him. I never cheated. He cheated on his ex-wife, though. Why? And it's not not fair that my partner doesn't trust me. When we fought, he would always just he would always break my things, and he even lied to me just to test me. He has two little kids. Oh, I've heard that. That's a thing. That's a thing. He has two little kids with his ex-wife, and I realized that. I just don't want kids in my life. So I know this relationship doesn't have a future. And I can't get over the fact he cheated on her while she was still pregnant. (gasps) Chloe Kardashian. Is that you, (laughs) Chloe? Is that Kardashian? (laughs) I'm 
not mad at him. I know he has his issues. He lost both of his parents when he was a kid. First of all, we need to listen. Your emotions also You're matter. A, no. Your, you matter. Stop this out, Shem, but Stop it is it. because no, it is because no, nothing. No, don't, don't there's no. twins out here. The dad was an alcoholic. One is an alcoholic because the dad was an alcoholic. <laughs> the other one is not an alcoholic because the dad was an alcoholic. So, so don't come here with that don't bullshit. Don't come and tell me. Oh, I could have been. Nah. I could have been a drug addict. Okay. Nice. On coke easily every day. N- alcohol. Nice. You know, no. Ass out in the street. In the street. Wow. My parents passed away. Correct. Don't come here. Correct. With no. that, please. please. I feel sorry. I still want to help him, and I kind of feel bad for letting him down and ending things. Oof. But I can't go on like this anymore Therapy. the problem is i can't imagine to have better sex with someone else or better cuddling i'm afraid oh, i can't what? find that kind of connection and love again i know his love for me wasn't healthy it was rather an obsession but still i i, I just can't forget him how can i get over him sure go to therapy mm, number yeah. one um, Go to therapy. Yeah, mm. that's number that, one. That's gonna be num- my mm. number two. Um, and What's I know you one? gave me numbers that I need to follow up on. My number one was I, I needed to break the chain with, and it was only God. You need yeah. to want. It, it, it need was. To want you to need to it. also want to end it. Yeah. So after it ended, I went to God, and that's how I dealt through it. I was mm. because remember I told you about how I was embarrassed to walk in, like mm. you know, fully and yeah. praise God and worship God, whatever. Mm. But after that, I was like, Mm-mm, I'm letting go, and this man, God, is going to help me right through, through this it. thing, right? And what helps is writing. I, I yes. journal, so sure. I journaled a lot. So mm. that also helps with getting all those emotions out on paper, right? And as you get them out on paper, you finna cry. Yeah. But yes. let those like, tears, tears let you feel that let emotion. You feel Embrace the emotions, it. yes, because that you letting it go, and it's not to like tear mm. the pages out and burn them. Mm. Not, no, it'll be there. I, I don't even know where the um, journal is right now. Sure, mm. sure, sure. Everything sure. that I I wrote down, but definitely you need to wanna. Break yes, I agree. She wants to, but she's still feeling It's the zags. Sorry. It's the zags. And, it's, it's the, it's the, and it's the recognize that sex doesn't necessarily equal love in yes. keeping someone. It just doesn't. Because now it's no. going to be a thing of you're pregnant and now you're going to stay. Because and now, now he's got three children. No, 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 yeah, no, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I want us to go back to what she said about him cheating on his pregnant wife. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so you are seeing him cheat on his pregnant wife. We na. We are guy when. Yeah. When are you going? Why? Why? Why do you think? Oh shit! But this, this is, is a good love. man. This is the one for me. How, it's, it's why? Like, I think as much as nah, men are trash, which they are, nah. And sometimes we need to stop and look at ourselves and be like, okay, babes. Yes. Let's let's assess the situation. Mm, mm. Yeah. But mm. he it's is, not easy. He is literally <clears throat> he's got two children. Mm. She doesn't want children. Mm. Yes. Right? He cheated on his pregnant wife. Mm. With you. I no, she no, I don't oh, think she yeah, said no, that. No, I don't think she said that. Just I don't think she said that. So we don't know how she found out the information. She maybe yeah. he told her. Mm. Yeah. Maybe mm. like you know, I don't know. Mm. But yeah. I I, th- I I don't necessarily think that she left him when he did tell her that I right. cheated on my pregnant wife. Yes. Nonetheless, why didn't you leave then? This is what it goes back to the self love now because yes. she's thinking this is the only dick for me. Like, yes. right? I will never have the sex again. Uh, yes. And let's which talk- is a lie, guys. We need to stop lying to ourselves like is that. Let's talk about the lie. power of the digmatization. It is a lie. Because the reason why we get trapped in the digmatization is because we don't see him vulnerable and emotional in other elements. Yes. Other oh. than when the sex so is all happening. The energy yes. So she latches that only on that yes. energy as an opportunity for That's he correct. could do better. Yes. That's and correct. that is a problem. That's 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 true. So the stepping back, the mm. because as much as uh, t- t- and but abusive relationships, like yes. that's different. I'm yeah. not talking about that. Yeah. Relationships are a two way thing. Yes. So we need to recognize where, okay, 
Luena, you are not doing the things the you things need to you do need to doing, for yeah. this thing to 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 be finished mm. or to work. Mm. So if it's not working, leave. Mm. Right? Oh, it's hard. Yes. Mm. Like I'm not saying like okay, it's like cutting a piece of cake. Oh no, no, no. no. I'm just saying like the 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 recognition, the realization yes. that yeah. this thing is not a thing, and he's not a thing. Yeah. Okay, let's close the hut and <laughs> open the brain. You, yeah. And think. Not. And leave, yeah, and you know, carry on with life because, mm. yes, okay, we're all emotionally human beings, whatever, but <laughs> sometimes we we need to think like men, we honestly, yeah. you need because to men are emotional like people, nah, men they are, are, they're they're emotional very emotional. Oh my gosh, they're but very no, emotional, also they're they able choose, to, yes, they're, they're able, able to, to take the hat and be like, okay. You I'm putting it there. Yeah. Sharp. Yes. Yes. Let's let's what let's we need to learn there. from men is choosing ourselves, guys, because Listen. men yes. will choose them. Speak so on it. Pick number one every hey, time. They speak on it. Number one. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think let's also change the narrative about how you can only have like you can have great sex with the relationships toxic and no 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 you can have great sex and an honest and open yes. relationship too yes. and make sure you chase that more than just be like I'm saying because the sex is great but this man yeah. is doing the most like oh, sex cannot be the only thing because you can create great sex as well yeah you yes. really could, if you really wanted to you could create great sex exactly but now. <sighs> Yeah, no. But but that's what, like, what, but what she said to like um you know she says um she knew that the guy cheated on the wife. Why when, did you stay? Look, why did you stay? He's you don't cheat that, on you too, man. Doesn't even that occur toxic, to you that toxic energy ways can really it cause you to you. be dizzy. It blinds you because also mm. you are hopeful, are you not? Yeah, you're like oh, oh not with me. I, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, he's like I, that with everybody, but not with me. Hey, I saw how that played you out. Go into Chloe Kardashian, Tristan. <laughs> you do go into a, what I mean. Oh no, but he'll change. You know, mm. like um, it will never happen to me. He's mm. gonna change his ways. He loves me more. Shit. What hey. makes me different? What makes me different? You see, hey, not Be- no. I think we we shouldn't look at it like that. He, it's still the same nigga. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the common denominator here is the, the man. Nigga. The man. He is the one who cheated. I he agree. Can he again. can cheat yeah. again. Yeah. That's the common denominator. Yeah, that's true. Final thoughts. Final wrap ups. Final. I will always. <laughs> oh yeah. But wait, wait, wait. Before yeah, sorry, because yeah. you said um after this conversation you'll decide if you've been in a toxic yeah, relationship. Yeah, actually. Oh, so, wow. yeah. what is your? Yes. <laughs> I look yeah. So, wow. so <laughs> what, what is, is your what is the conclusion? No, 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 it wasn't a toxic relationship. Okay. Yeah, we were just misaligned. Okay. Oh, okay. Brands yeah. were not. Like, yeah. I, I, it, it would be unfair shame to say it was a toxic relationship, especially the one I have in my head. Mm. Yeah. It, it was definitely right. a misalignment. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. Cool. Definitely. Okay. definitely not the other one hmm nah not toxic no he 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 was just a sucky human being okay oh, not okay, the relationship no. he yeah, just him himself, himself. Yeah. he just sucks as okay. a person so yeah. no not okay. a toxic re- so yeah. no no okay. yeah i yeah. think so, it becomes yeah. toxic when the person like they bring out the worst out of you and whether it's intentional or not or intentional not. Like, just be mindful of that. Like, mm. when you see yourself doing things that you wouldn't ordinarily do, or when your friends are, like, just saying, your friend, are you okay? You seem off. Yeah. And they're constantly always just saying, you seem hey. off. Just, yeah, check that. And also, be mindful of, like, mm. what your family have to say about the person. Like, Accountability. My mom is Don't a person. Hide this. Listen, my Don't mom. Don't hide this nigga. Guys, my mom loves everyone. She likes everyone. Like, she can meet you, and she'd be like, I like you. Yeah. But... If my mom has something mm, snacks to say about you, that means well, there's, a there's, a, there's, a there's a problem. There's a problem. There's a problem. And she had something snacks to say about Ginger Troll, okay? I like so, that you said accountability. Yeah. Because we like hiding niggas, you know, mm. that soft launch. So, yeah. like, we shouldn't soft launch our people to our people. Mm. I need to learn. Like yeah. our close friends. Yeah, this is true. Like, though. maybe soft launch to social media, fine. But, yeah. like, speak to your friends speak about to your, your friends. people. Yeah. Because yes. they're able to, you know. They Discern want the best for you. Yes, yes, they do. At the end yeah. of the day. Yeah. And if they don't, they're not your friends or your yeah. family. Yes. Like, yeah. they want the best for you. So, if they can see that, mm. yeah, something's mm. off. You mm. should take Something that into consideration. Yeah. Not when your family is being racist, though. That's very different. That's, no. very, different. That's no. very different. Extremely different. Yeah, but final But for thoughts? my final thoughts, yeah. yes. um, 
self love is the best love mm-hmm. that's number one i would i will always push self love so mm. yeah. that's that's yeah. all for me definitely i'm i'm the same self love mm. don't forget about you put yourself first girl yes. put your old guy because also oh, maybe guys have also been in toxic yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we complain a lot about we, that yeah 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 so maybe switch it up some yeah shim. poor things have also gone through the most but probably anyway yeah. put yourself first um yeah put you first man it, it don't matter about the next person you love that you've got more than enough love for like mm. other people but it's always you first yeah um, can i add something yeah. before you say sorry um <sighs> You always you always deserve love. You're mm. never not going to deserve love. Mm. I think we accept toxic relationships because we think this is this person is the end all and be all. Yeah. Yes. And that's not true. That is a lie that we mm-hmm. tell ourselves because yeah. It, yeah. we're primal beings and it's a survival instinct to say mm. we're going to die without this thing. Mm. We're going to die without this person. You're not going to die. Yeah. You're going to be fine. You're going to be strong. Mm. You're going to be good. Yeah. You love yourself first. Yes. Yeah. the thing. Yes. You see it goes back to self And love. loving yeah. yourself. Yeah, exactly. Loving yourself is a journey, right? Yes. It's not like now you just decide, okay, now that I'm buying myself flowers, it's like, oh, yes, I'm now at that level. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It looks every different. Every day is a constant. And and I think the biggest thing, like I, I keep, I, I talk a lot about God because that's mm. also my journey, you know. Mm-hmm. And the minute I, I realized after this thing like broke out, I was like, but God loves me so much. Like, mm. why? And I know it sounds cliche. Yeah. But he loves me so much. Like, why would you not love, love me? Why? Love me for me. Hey. <laughs> what are the three girls in that? <laughs> now we are those, those <laughs> girls. <laughs> what, what you got? got what you, got you see? I am with you. And I can be any more than what I am. Final thought. Love can me for me. Don't love me. me. I don't love me. me. Okay, we need to do a karaoke yeah. version, clearly. Um, like, yeah, like I said, I think if you're holding on to the relationship and it's ended mm-hmm. and you're still thinking about it and you still have, like, elements of, like, what about, what if, what if, what if, definitely just, I think, really reflect and, and heal from it. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and not as a way of, like, you're the problem. Just mm-hmm. recognize that it happened Forgive yourself for it. Forgive the person for it and move on because mm. the greatest thing you can do, the greatest revenge is actually just like healing and moving yes. on. Yo, it's not yes. It's not getting Listen, back at the person. Yes. It's actually, yeah. yes. I often see the greatest women who have just like come back from a situation that's brought them down mm. and they're like, I'm not bothered by this because they've, they've taken the time to just Heal, you know, heal, yeah. and reflect on heal. it. And yeah. for me, like I took that time. And uh, let me tell you something about me. Am I not? Am I not? Am I not a fly girl right now? Glowing, oh, hey, yes, glowing, uh, bombing. Glowing. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. I just think take that time yeah. and yeah, just just listen to yourself. Listen to your gut. When your yes. gut thinks something's off, bliss. Sorry, can I please read something? I'm yes. so sorry. Like you do it. Off End it off on that. So note. I screen grabbed. Um, What's this, something that someone posted yeah, yeah. on on WhatsApp, and it says, "Ooh, and this girl bless me." I didn't actually tell her I should. Um, it says, "You deserve to be loved um, how you want to be loved. Mm. You deserve to be loved how you love. Mm. You ooh, you deserve to be loved and not hide parts of yourself." Yes, mm. yes. Yes, you deserve Hallelujah. to be loved yeah. even as you're healing. Speak on it. You deserve to be loved, flaws and all. Bra, bra. And lastly, you deserve more than a half-assed love. So Listen! Yeah. yeah! And then on that note... One yeah. full cream, <laughs> double cream love up in here, okay? No fu- no low-fat no. shandies. We don't want... We don't I'm do that here. I'm lactose intolerant. I need a lactose intolerant. I'm also intolerant. <laughs> that I'm more full of love. Yes. yes. No lack, yes, love, yes. On that note... We deserve love too. Yes. Please like, you know, if you're on YouTube, comment, like, comment, um, share. You know, if you're listening on the Spotify, the Apples, the Google Podcasts. Give us the five stars. Give please. us the five stars. Share with your people. As usual, we really love our What the Relationshipers. We love the love that you share on our Instagram statuses all the time as well. Keep the love going. Keep it showing. Keep it flowing. But either way, from me, Candice, and... Me, Lungi. And myself, Chase. Thank you guys for inviting me. This was great. It was great. It was lovely. We are out. Bye. 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 Bye.